Kiev has rolled out the red carpet for U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, uh, the latest high-ranking American official to greet Ukraine's new leadership. Here's him uh, exiting the plane, only to see a, an armored vehicle at the airport on his arrival. Yeah, that's a, a sign of instability and, should we say, stark contrast to what he saw in his last visit five years ago. Washington is standing squarely behind the interim government in Kiev, although the American people don't seem so well informed about who their leaders are backing. RT's Guy N. H. Chichikan has been investigating. When U.S. politicians speak, you get the impression that the U.S. has these unbreakable ties with Ukraine. Ties so close that the staff of the U.S. Embassy in Kiev can't even sing in Ukrainian. <laughs> Washington claims it has a responsibility to meddle in the affairs of Ukraine. But what do everyday Americans think about that? Let's find out. Do you think the U.S. should intervene in the crisis in Ukraine? No, they shouldn't. I don't think they should because they have their own government, they have their own army, and they should straighten it out politically inside their own house. No, I don't. I don't think they should intervene. No, I don't. Absolutely not. I definitely think that we should intervene, but I think we should probably intervene economically. Yeah. Can you show Ukraine on the map? Uh, probably not. Mm. Can you show Ukraine on the map? Yes. Could that be the northern Russia? That close? Can I be up here? No. Oh, no, a quiz. Uh, well, the big landmass here? Uh, can I? Of course. Uh, Ukraine is, to my knowledge, right around this area here. Uh, so Eastern... That's Russia. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Well, then Ukraine should be then a little bit over, over this way. That's still Russia. And then it's still over this way. That's Russia. Let me see. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my... We're probably still... That, that's still Russia, sir. Oh, then I give up now. I'm... Can you oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Can you look at the borders? Right here. Oh, that's no, gotta be sir. It. No, that's not it. Right here. Right there. That's got to no. be it. <laughs> Come on. Give me a hint. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm, I even... I work for the State Department. <laughs> Out of six people I asked, only one could show Ukraine on the map correctly. A professional survey agency has done what I just did, but with a national sample of Americans. They asked more than 2,000 people, and they came up with similar results. Five out of six Americans could not show Ukraine on the map. But their survey also showed the further the respondents thought Ukraine was from its actual location, the more they wanted the U.S. to intervene militarily. What about U.S. politicians? Do they have enough knowledge of Ukraine to intervene there? Remember, some of them have called for arming Ukrainians in this crisis. With me is Brian Becker with the Answer Coalition. What is your answer, Brian? Well, the American Congress isn't motivated by knowledge. In fact, there's profound uh, ignorance. And the same would be true about the American people, largely because they've been misinformed by the U.S. media or not informed at all about uh, world issues. Uh, most people probably can't find Ukraine on a map. Uh, most people in Congress, including the senators, probably can't find Ukraine on the map. They don't know anything about Ukraine's history, even recent history. Uh, but what we see in Congress and what we see in the White House is not an expression of, of an informed decision, but the expression of power, the expression of a desire to bully those uh, in Europe, particularly Russia, in order to get U.S the U.S. way in order to generate uh, a positive response to what they consider to be U.S. interests. What are those interests? They are to incorporate Ukraine in that whole region, all of the former uh, Soviet republics, including the former uh, allies of the Soviet Union, those in Eastern and Central Europe, into an American sphere of influence. They don't need to know a lot to know that. Mark Twain famously said, God created war so that Americans would learn geography. Well, we hope the U.S. will never go to war in Ukraine, but for the public to have informed opinions, it would help to know some facts about the country. In Washington, I'm going to check on RT.